Call a meeting of the Fiscal Court to order. Good to see everybody here this morning. We don't have a, a long agenda, but we got several things to go over this morning. Our first uh, guest is Jana York. Jana is our executive director of the West Kentucky Allied Services. At the last meeting, uh, we talked about renting space, and I, uh, I think I said what four hundred. $450, well, that's what they're paying now, and they can't afford it. So I asked Jana to come and talk to us this morning about what they could afford uh, to rent some space here at the courthouse. So, Jana? Good morning. Um, I think some figures got thrown out and got all mixed up because 450 is what I'll we're paying. Well, that's okay. 450 is what we were going to be paying, and we cannot afford that. Um, we probably could pay up to $150 to $200. Now, during LIHEAP, which would be the Low Income Heat and Energy Assistance Program, Mike, we probably can pay more, uh, up to like $300, because we have more funds in that particular program than we do in the CSBG program. The CSBG is the one that pays for the social workers uh, salaries and everything, and there was an 8.3% cut in that. Judge, the space that they're <clears throat> requesting to use, is that something that's not going to burden anyone in the court? No, this, the, the space, uh, <clears throat> Commissioner, is uh, where the home place was mm -hmm. that the state cut out. Mm -hmm. It's the offices right over here. Yeah. Two things, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but during light heat, uh, we're across the street and people are lined up outside in cold weather having to stand there to get in. My thinking was if we rent to them, those people can be here in the warm and just take a number and they get to right. them as they can because uh, light heat, we have a certain amount of dollars. Usually it's over $100,000 in Marshall County that we expend uh, to help people with, uh, with their... I don't have any problem with all that. Okay, I do want y'all to be aware of there will be a lot of people coming in the courthouse, 25 to 50 a day during that program. And I'm sure that y'all be the ones that'll get the phone calls, you know, especially judge's office, if they don't get seen right away. You know, we well, do the best that anyway, we can do. So right. That's no big thing, but at least they'll be where it's warm yeah. and not out in the cold while they're But trying. we don't mind paying during LIHEAP, which is usually November through March, paying a little bit more because there is more money in that program. Does that take away from your available funds then? To no. Okay. We have a special line cost item for just rent. Okay. I make a motion to rent it to them for 150 Just the whole time, I'll second that. We have a motion and second that we rent the office space to uh, West Kentucky Allied Services for $150 a month. Any discussion on the motion? No. And that's something you feel comfortable you can do? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed, no. Motion carried. Jenna, and I, I don't, like, the figure's not coming to me right now. Mel and I are both on uh, the West Kentucky Allied Board, uh, but the direct services to Marshall County comes to somewhere around $300,000 a year, uh, maybe more. It's from, more. For, out for West Kentucky Allied. We're not only talking about light heat, we're talking about uh, home care and visits and... I, we I have a $3 million budget. Yeah. So it's... And our citizens involved. benefit from, from that... Uh, but, and we're talking about more foot traffic. Is there anything uh, from a liability standpoint that we need to do? Our insurance will cover everything here in the building just, just the same as it always has. Yeah. Okay. Changing. That's fine. All right. Bob Gifford. This judge, I have a draw request uh, for KIA Fund B. It is uh, $4,400. This is for engineering to Paul Cloud uh, for the drawings for the uh, Brazil School Road to Arant Road and uh, the field work. And then I'm reimbursing the city of Benton uh, bills that they paid for Apex Engineering for telemetry on the Oak Level tank in the amount of $8,251.86. The 
The grand total of the request from Fund B is $12,651.86. Motion approved, Judge. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Motion carries. Judge, we have uh, reached an agreement with the city of Benton on the uh, pumping station for to be able to complete the uh, bulk level tank. And we're in the process of making those drawings and we will go to bid for that uh, just as soon as they're complete. So a uh, word that we were searching for a piece of property, the city has agreed to allow us to use some that they already have and we'll proceed the minute that's completed. All right, any questions of Bob? Nope. Thank All you. Right. Marty Johnson. I'm here at the request of the learned uh, judge. I think I had uh, prepared a document and you do, you, I think uh, related to the sound distribution system. You were, well, had some questions about it and you wanted me to come over and give you all an explanation of what we had in mind and what we we're trying to accomplish. Yes, this is uh, the sound system that they've been working on and got in uh, with the speakers on the top of the building, I suppose. And uh, uh, Marty has uh, put a document together that uh, kind of would hold us harmless. Uh, yeah, when this first came up, I don't think anybody really thought about where we were going with it. And I started out with the concept that this is going to be housed in the, in the city hall, I mean, in the, in the courthouse. And so I prepared a license uh, for, uh, we needed at least three people to sign them. One of them would be the tree fellow that owns the building over here on the, uh, by the plaza. And then the building that we own, because the wires were going to be attached to the buildings, and we were going to start hanging equipment around the square on something other than public property. And when we ran into that, I came over here with a document that would, uh, the county would be getting a license from these people in order to uh, hang equipment on the buildings. And so when I gave it to the judge, the judge said, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> he said, this is not what we were wanting to get into. We anticipate this would be the city's equipment, not ours. And we wouldn't be paying to open the courthouse every time we need to open and have it used. And, because it would be more realistic that it'd be a downtown Benton function than it would be a county, uh, the, the courthouse being involved in it. So um, on the basis of that, I went back and talked to the mayor, and the mayor said, well, we'll go approach it from a different angle. We'll deal, deal with it, and we'll take responsibility for the equipment, and then we'll get the license, and we'll hang it all, you know, with, and I'll have to get something from the county, then because you all already hung all the speakers and things around the building. So I came over and talked to the judge about it, and he said, prepare the document and we'll take it to the municipal court. So that's why I'm here this morning. <coughs> is what we're looking for is a license agreement with the county that authorizes the, the equipment to be hung on your building. It uh, says that we're responsible for it. If it has any problems, any complications, it creates any problems on the building that you have, we can take care of it. We have the responsibility for it, and you all are we're supposed to hold you all harmless and protect you on any claims arising out of that equipment. So, so if it fell off, hit somebody in the head, it's ours, not yours. And I think they, didn't they build a box or something uh, where it could be turned on outside? Is that right, Frank? And we'll have to come into the building? Yeah, the only yeah. thing access to the building that would require to would be a technical issue, which would be a Monday through Friday access on the Yeah. But everything else is controlled from outside. Yeah. <coughs> Any questions of Marty? No, sir. We just wanted to get clarification on this, and uh, we've got it cleaned up. I think it's uh, in order, and I would uh, recommend that we uh, make this agreement with the city of Benton. So moved, Judge. I have a motion. Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed, no. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, Marty. Frank? Sir. <coughs> I'll be real brief. Last month, uh, when I spoke to the court about moving the vehicles over to different departments, the excess vehicles, one that I overlooked was the uh, 
uh, wheelchair van at the rescue squad. The members there had elected in their last month's meeting uh, to get rid of the two vehicles. One was the Jeep, which we kept within the county and we've moved now successfully over to the animal shelter. They received it yesterday. Uh, I think uh, the refuges maintenance people are gonna do a run through of it and fix a few mechanical issues on it. However, I forgot to speak about the van and the members at the rescue squad, the old wheelchair van that they'd received from exceptional school years ago, uh, they elected to remove that van through surplus. So I'm on their behalf requesting permission from the court to surplus that, that vehicle out and run, run those articles in the paper as required. At the same time, they also request that the proceeds that come from the vehicle be redirected back to the rescue squad and their funding. So. You heard the request. What's your pleasure? Motion to is your request, sir. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor of the motion is, to say aye. Is there anywhere, is anywhere, nowhere else that we needed in the county? I mean, no, no other organization? Or? Um, I, th I talked with uh, Troy yesterday. He's interested in it for the refuge department. Uh, and right now I'm speaking on behalf of the rescue squad that, you know, they had received that and they had voted within their um, board members to, to, uh, Sur surplus. surplus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I do know that it's got some, uh, minor and maybe some major mechanical issues, the reason why they elected to do it. I think and, they got some major. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Troy, Troy had looked at it yesterday when yeah. we were transferring the thing and, uh, he said that, you know, he would contact them to see what issues he had with it. So. Uh, as far, one other thing as far as the... Well, let's uh, get a vote on this one I'm first. We have a motion and a second. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Uh, Any opposed, no. Motion carries. Go ahead, Frank. And the, the former EM vehicle, um, I'm just we, we're kind of holding on to it right now. I'm sure the court's all, everybody's aware that there's a big change in the American Red Cross where we'd elected to, to send it down there. So at this time, I just, uh, I think... We're just going to hold on to it till we see the future there, uh, and then probably bring that back to the table in January after the first of the year. So, I don't know if the court's aware, uh, but we were contacted, or our group was contacted by the American Red Cross, and they're doing away with their position uh, here in Marshall County. They want uh, Darlene to continue, but be a non-paid. Uh, volunteer uh, and it's my understanding they're doing this in several counties right Frank that's that what correct. we understand yeah. several people will let go on the same day and we this was just out of the blue and uh, so we'll have some recommendations to the court as we work through this uh, Darlene has done an outstanding job uh, with the Red Cross I mean she's there if there's a fire, if there's an emergency of any kind, she's there. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of shocked, to be honest with you, when, when this decision was made. And it was not made at the local level, as far as I know, Frank. It was made somewhere else. Uh, State and the national level. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get into that uh, a little later. But uh, <clears throat> I think she'll be working through November or? November the 14th is her official last day as okay. a paid employee. And then she'll be in, uh, in severance at that point for okay. several weeks. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Robert Chandler. I'll be brief today. I uh, haven't got anything to take except that uh, talk to Emily and, uh, and to the rest of them. Uh, Took more veterans up this last week and this week too, and I've got two more trips this week. I said I wasn't going to ask for any money, but it's got more than uh, than I expected. Uh, what I'd like to do is to just reimburse me. Emily said it'd be better to reimburse me, and I I gave it to Misty a while ago when she took it downstairs. But I'd like a motion to pay me. Can I make a motion to pay me back? Two hundred ninety dollars is what. Make what I spend on gas. Do we have a motion. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> Motion and second. All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. Any opposed, no. Motion carries. Emily also, uh, <clears throat> I talked to Misty and to Terry. And I miss Bob, but I miss, talked to Misty and Terry. Also need to be appointed as the coordinator. Uh, it needs to be in the minutes that I am the Marshall County 
veteran coordinator of this van going back in. So I just need to be appointed that coordinator. Make a motion with appointing, Judge. We have a motion. Is there a second? Yeah, second. Motion and second. Any discussion on that motion? None. Did you get your gas card straightened out, by the way, or is that something that they're able to do now? Okay. That uh, let me let's go ahead and get oh, all in favor yes I'm, oh, I'm in, I'm all in favor, favor say aye <laughs> okay that motion carried now mr go ahead did they get your gas card straightened out not yet they put me off three times uh, they're supposed to went up this week november the 6th they called me put it off to the 14th called me a while ago and put it off till the 17th so uh I, whatever i get between now and 17th I can i can eat that that's you know no well, no, 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 no we no. we we, uh, we uh, don't want you to have to you know, this is a service. Yeah, my question is, and I, the reason I was asking that is, can we not allow him to fuel up the van at one of our facilities, like road department or somewhere, so we're not having to pay retail? You're not having to pay retail? I mean, we do have lower cost well, options. That'd be okay, but I'm not driving the VA van okay, because they won't let me with a pacemaker. I so thought I've been you driving had, my own so van. You're just driving, okay. <laughs> I've been taking up my own van. Well, they we can they gotta go. We'll. Yeah, that works. They gotta go, and I, yeah. can't, I just can't tell them no, so sure. I'll take them. We'll take care of it. Okay. Appreciate you, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Thank Anyone you. else to address the court? <clears throat> All right, let's move into correspondence uh, from the marching <coughs> marshals, our county high school band. Uh, they have got a revitalizing and rebranding proposal. Uh, so for decades, the Marshall County Marching Marshals have been Western Kentucky's premier marching band, both on and off the field. Their tradition of excellence and award-winning shows have led them to be regulars in the Kentucky Music Educators Association state semifinals in the Elite 5A class. While many uh, other competitive programs within the Marshall County school system have updated their equipment and image, the Marching Marshal support vehicles have remained unchanged. The vehicles in their current state do not accurately depict the professionalism and award-winning program that Director Payton, assistant, band staff, and current band members and alumni have worked so hard to achieve. With all other sport and competitive programs of Marshall County, <clears throat> the marching marshals deserve their first impression given when competing uh, to be that of a first-class band that is supported by their school and their community. More than 20 years ago, the vehicle that transport the band's equipment, props, and uniforms was hand-painted by local artist Vicki Jo Reed. The design has served the band well over those years, but due to age and wear, is faded and not well representative of the award-winning uh, award band program. Other area bands, even much smaller and less successful, have updated vehicles to promote their programs and advertise their supporters. Uh, they've got some pictures of uh, ours and some of the others that have been updated, and uh, they are asking that if we would sponsor. Uh, they have a silver sponsor from 500 to 1,000, gold sponsor 1,000 to 5,000, platinum sponsor uh, 5,000 or more. Uh, but they said any amount would be appreciated. So, <clears throat> well, Judge, if I can expand on that, yeah. I'm, I am now a band parent, and I, I, I have gone to several competitions in the last two years, and ours looks pretty ratty against everybody else's. It does not look good at all. I mean, it was good for the time because it's, you know, Miss Reed did it's a great job ago. on it. But, but 20 years ago. Exactly. It, it needs to be updated, and there's a way that it can be done to where it's a wrap. It's not a, you know, it doesn't have to be painted. It's a wrap. Uh, the other support vehicle is just an old Penske box truck. Yeah. And it's pretty, pretty rough, mm -hmm. rough looking, too. So <clears throat> any of that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, the yeah. band does do a great job, and they've They've won several competitions this year as well as last year, and yeah. to keep that tradition going, it, it would it would look nice. Yeah, we were band parents four years, yeah. and that's the same yeah. same vehicles <laughs> that we had back when Sean was yeah. uh, in, in the band and going to competitions. Might have been when I so, was too. Do we know what the total cost is on the project? I, no, I don't, Chris. Uh, do you? I'm trying to remember what Chris told me. Uh, I, 
not right off the top of my head, but I'm I'm going to say it's probably twenty plus thousand to mm -hmm. to get both vehicles okay. done. What's your pleasure? I'd I, like to help them. I would too. Where does that put us in terms of being able to spend money? Where we've we've had to table everything. Is that something that we can do now, or do we? Well, Emily's not here. She's uh -huh. working the polls today. You know, I tell you what, let's do. Let's table this, and Emily will be back for the next court meeting. And we'll take it up again. That way, we'll know exactly. Uh, yeah, we've got we some do. funds, yeah. I believe. I think so, but I'd rather Emily be I able to tell us. Yep. And I, I think <clears throat> it won't hurt to wait two weeks. I no, mean, it's not going to. No. Yeah. Okay. So motion table. All right. We have a motion to table. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Oh. Motion carries. We'll talk to Emily <clears throat> when she gets back. Uh, from the Kentucky Magistrates and Commissioners Association, uh, they have a health emergency preparedness uh, on Ebola. Uh, they're inviting fiscal court members, health directors, and related <coughs> parties. This is sponsored by the Kentucky Magistrates and Commissioners Association and presented by the Kentucky Department of Public Health. It'll be Wednesday, November the 12th, from 12.30 to 3.30 at the Keiko Conference Room in Frankfurt. Uh, three hours of certified training will be available. We also have a uh, Ebola uh, update at our local health department later on this week. But if any of the uh, commissioners want to attend this, you get three hours uh, training uh, for going. Uh, you just have to call the commissioners and Bubba to let them know that you're going to come. All right. Let's move into old business. You've all received the copies of the October 21st meeting of the fiscal court. Are there any corrections or additions to the meeting of the court? I have none. Make a motion, Judge. I have a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Motion carries. Keystone Drive was brought up the last meeting. What was the? Anybody remember what? It was about the. Him and the number yeah. that he gave me is not a working number. And I kind of need to know if he feels like the encroachment is on Keystone or if it's on Buckhorn because his property is at the corner. And that would be, I would need to know which neighbor is also affected. So on, oh. key, so on Keystone, I know that. And judge the guy. That's the fellow that was here last week. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Oh, Hilton. Last Bob, Matt, Bob Hilton. Bob Hilton, yeah. And the neighbor just behind him is the, the one, the other person that's, he alleges is affected by that. But it's not on the No, it's not, both are on Keystone. And we were going to get a. Uh, he never did. Well, I wasn't able to a survey, but, um, yeah, I was supposed to get see a survey plant back to you, too. He didn't get you the plant uh -uh. for the survey, I mean. No, because I wasn't able to talk to him. Okay. I have his email. You have his email? <coughs> yeah, that's See if you could email him, have him contact her. Okay. Yeah, it's, that's the easiest way to get hold of Bob anyways, through email. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, we'll table that till the next meeting and See if we can contact Mr. Helton and uh, find out where we are. Uh, <clears throat> we had a temporary part-time employee at the animal shelter. Uh, I was approached uh, that one of our employees that hurt her shoulder or something. Um, we had an employee, a part-time employee had back surgery, and so that took her out of the job for a couple of weeks. She had two serious back surgeries. So um, our other part-time weekender was out as well, so we had to have someone fill in. It's a, it's a fill-in, I mean, she'll work very little hours, and, and we spoke with it. We, even I spoke about yeah. it, and Emily. And, and what was her name? Amy Nim Nimchak is her last name. She was interviewed for the, one of the positions in the past. Okay. Okay, I, I inadvertently did not bring this up to the court. Uh, we needed somebody, and <clears throat> when I was made aware of it, I just uh, said, well, go ahead and 
and hire somebody to get us through this time. But her name is Amy Nemchek. She hasn't worked a lot, but. No, I think she's been <clears> worked <throat> maybe four times in two, two months or so. Um, she, she's the fill in for the fill in. Is yeah. What she is. And so. <clears throat> but uh, it's my fault. I didn't bring it before the court. And uh, I guess we. If, Do we need to mo motion to. <clears throat> yeah, if she, it's going to be a uh, ongoing thing, it needs. Court approval. Yeah, and uh, I don't know be, how long it'll be. It'll just be till the other girl can come can, back. There, you wouldn't have to on an emergency basis, which I think is where it started. But then there's been a couple other occasions when she's worked, so that okay. would need court approval. Yeah, and I'll her name is Amy Nemchek. Yeah. I make motion The, uh, I mean, the background check and all that we've reviewed back way back, back when. then. So, she was yeah. quiet. So no, we have a motion by Terry, second by Bob. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion carries. Again, that was just my fault. I should have brought it before the court back then. Next is our second reading of Ordinance 2014-12. This is an ordinance relating to the annual budget and amendment thereof. Whereas the Marshall County, uh, County of Marshall has received additional <coughs> funds, now be it ordained by the Fiscal Court of Marshall County, Section 1, <clears throat> the annual budget for fiscal year 2014-2015 is amended to increase the revenue account, uh, the U.S. Treasury TVA Doc Grant, 17800 U.S. Fish and Wildlife, 9865 Rural Secondary Road Program, 263,435 rural secondary program funds, 160,000 transportation cabinet department of highways, 700,000 transportation cabinet department of highways, 100,000 DRA McFarland road grant, $120,760 road surplus property, 10,000 <coughs> DRA wastewater lift station grant, 18,989.58. Uh, total increase in revenue, $1,400,849.58. Increased expenditures, general reserves, 21,665. Other contract services, 6,000. Roads and bridges, 160,000. Grant transfer out. 120,760 state road aid paving 1,063,435 road reserves 10,000 the DRA project grants 18,989.58 uh, total expenditures 1,400,849.58 the amounts added to the revenue and expenditure accounts uh, in section one are are for governmental purposes. This was approved by the Fiscal Court first reading on the 21st day of October 2014, and it was approved as to form and classification on the 28th day of October 2014 by Robert Brown, uh, our state local finance officer. I would ask uh, what's your pleasure on the second reading of Ordinance 2014-12. Motion to approve. Yeah. I have a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Motion carries. The York property on Tubbs Road, we had given them time and they had started making a little effort and then just quit. Uh, so I think uh, uh, Troy has contacted them again and said, look, we're just going to clean this place up ourselves. <clears throat> I hadn't talked to Troy to Has see it them. already gone through the formal no, It's process? already gone through, and we oh, okay. gave them time to, I mean, okay. all the notification was given, Kev, mm -hmm. give them that some okay. time ago. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have it on my they, they had started and then just quit, I think. Mm -hmm. The only question I think that is going to be on it when it was advertised in the paper originally from the um, citation, the house that's there itself, nobody lives in it, but it was his mother's house. 
but he lives in a trailer in the yard and his sister came in and was concerned about the house being torn down so we didn't actually advertise for that for the house house just for the property just, but it said that the buildings and everything so well, I mean, if you're gonna you know it, the the notice needs to match what we're going to do but it okay but it's all on the same property however that's not where well i mean it was specifically lives. noted in the so it needs to say what, the I mean, okay. At this point, they've been given time to clean up everything but the house. It's, it, the house hasn't been part of it. No. Yeah. So. Yeah. That would have to be changed. Okay. So does it have to be advertised against it since it was the intent just of? To whatever you plan on cleaning up. Well, it was just the property around the house. Yeah. It wasn't the house. I was about to say, I didn't say how you could see the house for everything that was around it. Just that's the, that's the problem. <laughs> that's, yeah. <laughs> Well, well, we'll advertise again if that's what we need to do. I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. All right, any other old business? Let's move into new business. The extension service, uh, Marsh County Extension Council has nominated the following individuals to serve on the Marsh County Extension District Board. Uh, Paula Bell, Danny Bridges, Gary Clark, George Milo. Since there are two member terms expiring as of January 15th, January 1, please appoint only two of these individuals to the district board. Paul Bell and Gary Clark currently serve on the district board. In accordance with the County Extension Council bylaws uh, change on 4-18-13, they are eligible for one more three-year term before they have to sit out at least one year. This change was made to encourage others to step up uh, to the extension leadership roles. I've contacted Paula and Gary. Uh, they are willing to serve one more term. I would recommend Paula Bell and Gary Clark to fill those positions. Motion approved, Judge. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. The motion carries. There was an issue come up some time ago. Uh, alleging that uh, there was a three-year limit right that is not a three-year term there's no term limit right. that I can see well it has changed now up until then now right. uh, after this term uh, exactly. they will have to set out before being uh, coming back home okay our animal shelter report uh, animals in the pen as of 9 30 14 45 Animals brought in by wardens, 26. Animals brought in by citizens, 42. Total animals of 68, 38 dogs, 13 cats, 10 puppies, and seven kittens. We've adopted 51. Animals in foster care, zero. Animals reclaimed, eight. Animals euthanized, 14. Animals in the pen as of 10, 31, 14 was 40. And our adoption fees for the month was $1,195. I would entertain a motion to accept the animal shelter report. Make a motion, Judge. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed, no. Motion carries. We've had an opportunity to review the bills. Do I hear a motion to pay the bills? Motion to pay the bills, Judge. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Motion carries. <clears throat> Next Tuesday, that's the 11th, right? Yep. Next Tuesday will be Veterans Day. We'll be honoring the families of those that were killed for Marshall County in Vietnam. Uh, Brigadier, our Brigadier General will be of the Kentucky National Guard will be our speaker. Uh, I hope the weather will be nice. Uh, we have contacted uh, relatives of all those that lost their life in Vietnam and uh, hopefully, you know, have a very nice memorial uh, for those folks. We had seven Marshall Countyans that were killed in Vietnam. Uh, several of them were personal friends of mine, and I know you guys knew some of them as well. Is there any other business come before the court? Unfortunately, Judge, can yep. I have a short 
executive session on the uh, follow-up from the last time. Before that, yeah. Judge, I just had one other thing. If you don't. Right. Um, I was at the judicial building the other day, and they were saying that they'd had a couple of people fall out front and that they thought if they just installed some simple railing for people to hold on to. Ricky was the one that asked me to bring it before the court. Is, is, uh, he thought it would be very low cost, just something that could easily be bolted there in front. Um, is that something that special projects crew could look at and maybe give us an estimate on? Um, well, sure. And, okay, I just sure. needed I, I, y'all. I wouldn't. I, I just anything happened anything to be there, there and, and a lady had tripped that day and he said, you know, we've had a couple people fall. He said, when y'all meet, could you ask the court if just there's like something? Just like out front, out right out front. Two yes, yeah. yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll get, uh, okay. I'll get, uh, uh, I know. Our special I don't know how it's, take a look yeah. at it. He just thought it maybe shouldn't be that it. much. Well, he said look. he said it would be very inexpensive. He said he's he just thought maybe if there was something for people to hold on to and, and uh, so. Sure. Yeah. Make away. an old mill for me to talk about that. Okay. Uh, do I have a motion to go into executive session? Motion, motion. Judge. Second. Have a motion. Is there a second? Second. In executive session. I'll call the court back in regular session. We uh, discussed a possible uh, property acquisition. We want to do some more research uh, on uh, cost estimates, uh, structural, and some other things uh, before the court uh, actually makes a decision. Uh, is there any other business coming before the court? We got a good salt supply on hand, so we should be ready for finally winter. I didn't wonder about that. How much we got in the barn? Mm, about nineteen hundred tons. And we got how much more that we can get? It might hold possibly four hundred, and we've got eight hundred that we can. That get. we've got ordered that yeah. we can access. We're what same as full. All right. All right. I, I do want to mention one thing. Uh, be thinking of Stephen Oakley. Uh, they had their little girl last night uh, early, and they had to fly her to Coast Air. think everything's going to be okay, but they're checking on some things. She's uh, six pounds, nine ounces, and they had to take her about four weeks early. So just uh, and they're be at thinking Coast Air? about Yeah, she's at Coast Air. Unfortunately, Ashley is still in Murray. Yeah. But uh, but I, we think everything's going to be okay, but just, just be thinking of the Oakley family. Did they airlift her? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, re remember Oak and, and his family. Oak's my neighbor. Uh, I didn't know they had to take the baby. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anything else? Motion adjourned. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Motion carried.